In today's video, I will teach you how to do color grading in Photopeak. Let's get started. First, launch Photopea and open your image by going to File, then Open. Then right-click on your image layer in the Layers panel and select Convert to Smart Object. This allows non-destructive editing. Now we're going to use Adjustment Layers for color grading. Color grading is best done using Adjustment Layers for flexibility and control. Now go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, then Curves. Then adjust the RGB curve for overall brightness and contrast. You can drag the top of the curve slightly down to reduce highlights and lift the bottom of the curve to soften shadows. And you can also adjust the individual red, green, and blue curves to introduce or reduce specific color tones. For example, you can add blue to shadows by lifting the blue curve's bottom point. Now we're going to enhance colors with you in saturation. For this, go to Layer, Adjustment Layer, then you and saturation. Then you can adjust the sliders to fine tune colors. U changes overall color tones, saturation increases or decreases intensity, and lightness brightens or darkens specific hues. Now we're going to add cinematic color tones with color lookup. To do this, simply go to layer, new adjustment layer, then color lookup, then choose from the built in LUTs. Then adjust the opacity of the adjustment layer to blend the effect naturally. And to create depth, you can use the gradient map. To do this, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, then Gradient Map. Then customize the gradient to blend shadows and highlights with unique tones. For example, you can use dark blues for shadows and orange for highlights. Then reduce the layer opacity or change the blending mode to achieve subtle effects. And you can also apply split toning. For this, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, then select Color Balance. Then adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights separately. You can add warm tones like reds and yellows to the highlights, and add cool tones like blues and cyans to the shadows. And once you're satisfied with the color grading, you can go to File, then Export As, and choose your desired file format. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.